Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, there is uniformly distributed load 24 kN per meter. It starts at a distance of 3 meter and acts for a distance of 3 meter. The span of the beam is given as 8 meter. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2 so that we will get 1. To make this beam statically determinate from the point B, let us remove RB. You can see that from the point B, I have removed RB. So the point B becomes a free end. We know the formula to find the reaction Rb minus delta L upon delta. To find both of these two displacements, we are going to use unit load method. In that method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are three different parts BD, DC and CA. So we have to make three sections, one in BD one in DC and one in CA. You can see that I have made three sections, one in BD, one in DC and one in CA. I have made all of the sections at a distance of X from the point B. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are three members, BD, DC and CA. Let us enter them. For all of the sections, the origin is B. The limit for BD is 0 to 2. For DC, it is 2 to 5. And for CA, it is 5 to 8. Now, we are going to find the moment M. We are going to find the moments in the sections from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find M in BD. Up to this section there is no load so the moment will be 0. Now let us find the moment M in DC. Up to this section we have uniformly distributed load 24. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For this load we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 2. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. Minus 24 upon 2, it will be minus 12. x minus 2 into x minus 2, it will be x minus 2, the whole square. Now let us find the moment m in CA. Up to the section, we have only the uniformly distributed load 24. It is acting for the distance of 3. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Then we have to multiply with the distance. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide the distance 3 by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance. This distance is x minus 5. 3 upon 2 it will be 1.5. 1.5 minus 5, it will be minus 3.5. Minus 24 into 3, it will be minus 72. Let us enter that. Now we are going to find the moment small m. To find that, we have to remove all of the loads and apply unit load in the direction of Rb. Let us find m in all of the members. Up to all of the sections, we have only the unit load about all of the sections, it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance are x, 1 into x, we will get x. Now let us find the delta L. The formula is integration of mm upon ei dx. Using the formula, we will get minus 4833 upon ei. Now let us find delta the formula is integration of m square upon ei dx. Using the formula, we will get 512 upon 3 ei. 
in this uh, formula we have found delta l and delta let us apply both of them in this way we can find rb which is 28.32 kN now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find ra now from the point b let us take movement about a and find the ma rb is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8 the uniformly distributed load 24 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3 then we have to open a bracket we have to divide the distance 3 by 2 then we have to add the remaining distance which is 3 let us assume that ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive finally for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction now using the right hand side rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending movement let us make a section in this point and find the distance you can see that i have made a section at a distance of x from the point d using the left hand side rule we can make the expression for the shear force which is zero for x we will get 1.18 now let us find the maximum positive bending moment RB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2 plus 1.18 so it will be 3.18 the UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 for the maximum positive bending movement we will get 73.34 now let us find the bending movement in the point d rb is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2 finally we will get 56.64 to find the bending movements in the points a and c we can use the right hand side rule because it will be easy let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anti clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Now, let us find the bending moment at C. In addition to MA, we have RA. RA is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive, and the distance is 3. For the bending moment at C, we will get 33.6 here you can see the bending moment diagram in this point the bending moment becomes a zero this is the point of contraflexure we can make a section in this point in the beam and find the distance you can see that in that point i have made a section at a distance of x from the point a we know that in this section the bending moment is zero Using that concept, we can find x. Let us apply that.